Welcome to Barrack Mitsubishi. My name is Nathan and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2017 Mitsubishi Pajero GLS model. Now, in the, being the GLS, it does come with a few added benefits than your standard Pajero. However, we'll cover the exterior condition of this actual car and some of the features of the interior. So starting off at the front end here, got this really nice chrome grille that does tie in really nicely with the headlights and it's got this really nice effect with this um, with the chrome Mitsubishi badging in the middle there. It does have a split, a split grille effect that does allow for a little bit of extra airflow through to the, in, uh, to the intercoolers in the car. Now as you come across to the side here, being the GLS model, it does come with the projector globe built into this really big bold headlight. Again, does improve um, light disbursement in the night and you've also got your indicator globe built into the side there. Now, just below here you've got your fog light fitted in the front bar as well as your daytime running lights uh, just next to that obviously it improves the visibility of the car during the daytime and it increases the safety aspect as well just above that you do also have your headlight washers built into the front bar now as you come across the side being the GLS model, it does have a slightly different uh, alloy to your standard GLX model so you've got this really nice six spoke design took me a little bit to count that but really nice six spoke design with a 12 almost like a 12 stop pattern and you've got really good condition on the rims there no major damage or anything to the actual rim no wear or tear marks on the uh, rims either and plenty of tread remaining on these tires as well now as you come across the side as you can see it does come with your color match side mirrors and door handles in that really nice chrome finish now it does have your indicator globe again built into the side of the side mirror. Benefit of that is does elevate the actual light and give that extra visibility to the drivers on the side of you when you are indicating. It also does clear up this quarter panel. It makes it look really nice and sleek and neat on the side as well. Now, being a Pajero, it is quite a high car, so it does help to have the side step already fitted on there when you are climbing in and out. If you are a vertically challenged person, obviously it has a little bit of added benefit. Now, one thing I will note, is the car doesn't actually come with tint and uh, what we have here is a privacy glass and that just prevents you people from looking inside the car however it doesn't actually provide any uv protection or heat reduction but i do highly recommend you speak to us about the options as the car as you can see does have quite a bit of glass around the car the benefit of that is improved visibility for the drivers and the passengers inside the car uh, and again it does help to have that added safety of tint when you are driving this car out of the dealership now just opening up the driver's side door, as you can see the GLS model comes with your half leather, half cloth trim. So it does also have your electric seat adjusters, um, very nice and easy to use, quite comfortable seats as well. And the bolsters are in very good condition, no major wear or tear or damage to the seats itself. And you've got a really nice, um, uh, sorry, a condition on the carpet as well. There's no damage or tear marks there as you can see. Now just on the side here, you've got your genuine Mitsubishi scuff plate. No damage on the scuff plate itself and all the paint condition on the inside here has been kept really, really well. Now on the door here where we can get lazy and kick it open, there are a few little, little marks but for the most part the doors are actually in very good condition. You can see you've got your little, really nice leather armrest as well. Closing that up, as you come across to the second alloy wheel, can see again great condition on the rims no damage or wear or tear on the rim itself no stone chips the previous owners done a great job in looking after this car now one thing i will note is the fuel filler cap is on the driver's side of the car in case you are when you do hop out of the car to fill it up coming up to the back end very signature mitsubishi pajero rear end hasn't changed in years why change something that hasn't broken so you can see you got the really nice big designs in the tail lights does have your brake light reverse light and indicator built in there as well and you've got your rear mounted um, spare wheel now in that system itself you've also got your um, color match in the um, rear parking sensors at the back there as well as just on the bottom of the rear bar there benefit of that being such a big vehicle does help and also as the GLX model actually doesn't come with these rear parking sensors only is in the GLS and you do also have your rear view camera mounted just in there now as we pan up you've also got your rear wiper blades just over there and your high mounted brake light again adding that extra visibility and safety for the other drivers on the road now if we just open this up as you can see you've got your genuine Mitsubishi Pajero carpet mats coming with the car as well and you've also got a cargo liner in the back again just pre pre prevents people from actually peeking inside the car in case you do keep anything valuable in the back and it is again has been kept in very good condition now just under that under this you've got your rear seats so they do tuck away nice and easily just underneath you can just pull them out and click them in quite easily it's quite an easy system to use very user-friendly and you can also 
take them out if you wanted to. Now, if you do want to take them out, you just unlock this little clip here, pull this apart, and you can just unclip it from there. If you did want to have that added storage under the back here, if you are traveling, maybe just two people or five people, you do, it does help to have that extra space in the back if you are um, traveling. So closing the back end up, you can see how well the door cards have been maintained. There's no damage on the actual boot, so the person wasn't lazy when they were putting things in the back of the car as well. Coming across the passenger side of the car, the paintwork is in exceptional condition. The really nice sparkle to the paintwork, no um, scratches or um, like really observant marks on the actual paintwork. Very minor marks, but it's just dust really built up on the car. There is a very minor, minor scratch here. However, the condition of the paintwork is really, really good. Now, as you come across to that third alloy, again, great condition on the actual rims, no damage or gutter rash per se. No, just a little bit of dust. So the, the rim has, again, been looked after really, really well. This car has probably been owned by a really careful driver. So just the condition of the car and the way it presents shows how well the car has been looked after previously. Now coming to that fourth and final alloy, generally the one that gets damaged the most, um, very good condition. Now these, this is a Pajero, so it does elevate, the, the wheels do sit kind of high compared to your standard car. The car has been looked after exceptionally. Paintwork is in good condition, four unmarked alloys and the interior again presents really, really well. So what we're gonna do now is pop the hood and look, at, look inside the engine bay. All right, now taking a look inside this well-designed engine bay, my Mitsubishi, you can see what we have here is Mitsubishi's iconic four-cylinder 3.2 liter turbo diesel motor that is fitted in the Pajeros. Now it does come with a five-speed automatic gearbox, it does give really smooth transitions and shifts and plenty of power and torque when needed, especially when you are towing. Now this car itself has a five-star ANCAP rating with six airbags, so plenty of safety for all the passengers inside the car. And the car itself has been designed quite well to improve the safety features of the car. Um, now this motor itself produces 141 kilowatts with 441 newton meters of torque, so plenty of power and torque behind the actual motor if you are towing a caravan. And again, you've got that three ton towing capacity. Now this is a diesel car with an 88 liter fuel tank and this does have a combined fuel consumption of 9.1 liters per 100 kilometers with an average fuel distance of 967 kilometers off a full tank depending on whether you're towing and how you drive. Now taking a look inside the Pajero, as you can see the, the features and the, the actual layout of the car has not changed in at least about 10 years. I mean everything is designed quite beautifully and there's plenty of space and quite easy to access everything inside the car. So now starting off on the driver's side door, you've got, you've got this really nice leather wrapped arm um, armrest, very comfortable to rest your arm on as well. You do have this extra arm hold here in case you do want to, uh, when you are getting in and out of the car. And just over here, you've got this really nice chrome plate for your power window setting with your driver's side being fully automatic up and down and the rest of the windows just being your standard power windows. Now if you, if you come just above that you've got your central locking control as well and on the left of that you've got your power window lock as well in case people are playing around with the windows in the back seat. Got this beautiful chrome um, door handle and on the side of the actual dash you've got your front and rear fog light buttons as well as your toggles for your side mirrors. Now there is a little button there if you didn't want to tuck your side mirrors in. However, if you actually click your key three times, it will tuck in the side mirrors when you do lock your car. Um, now coming over to the steering wheel, got this beautiful leather wrap steering wheel, very comfortable to use, quite a soft leather as well and really nice and smooth. Now on the steering wheel itself, very big steering wheel, quite light to control as well, so easy to control, especially when you've got such a big car to maneuver. You're on the right hand side, you've got all your cruise control settings and on the left hand side are all your media options for your head unit with your volume mode and just below that are your Bluetooth connectivity for your phone, so your call and reject as well as your voice control for your Android Auto Apple CarPlay. Now on the right hand stock, you've got your automatic headlights. Again, you can just leave it in auto. The car's gonna do everything for you as well as your left and right indicator and your actual headlight washer button as well, just on the side there. Now, if you come over to the left-hand stock, you've got your wiper and washer fluids for your front and rear. Again, it is automatic, so you can just leave it in auto. The car's gonna do everything for you. Just for your fronts, however, the backs are just your standard controls. Now, if you come just below that, you've got your traction control button as well as your parking sensor sonar. So you can turn that off in case they do get a little bit annoying. If you are towing something and it can be going off, you can turn it off again. Now, you've got this really nice laid out dash. Now, the dash is a really nice vinyl, very soft. Again, adds to that five-star ANCAP rating. It is padded, so if you do meet in, in some kind of an impact 
which I'm sure you won't. There is, you know, you're not gonna be hitting anything hard. It, there is a really nice soft padding there. Now coming over to the actual center console, got this really nice display up here. It does give you a little bit of information in terms of the bearing and direction you're facing, the temperature outside, as well as your actual mileage and fuel consumption throughout the trip. And you've also got a little clock up there to give you a bit of information. Now you can just flick through that. It does give you your average speed, outside temperature, and plenty of other um, information as well. So the Progera is set up for all your possible needs. You can also turn that off completely. Now coming below that, you've got your updated head unit with your Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, digital radio, and your AM and FM as well. You've also got Bluetooth connectivity and your standard iPod control. So very nice head unit, quite responsive, really easy to use. And again, it's got everything you could possibly need with your maps inbuilt to your Android Auto. And if you did have any questions in regards to that, please come in, we'll be happy to answer anything and actually set it up for you as well. Coming below that, you've got all your hard controls for your aircon. Now, the dial is actually quite nice to use, very nice clicks and nice sounds and quite comfortable as well. And you've got your temperature gauge on this side as well as your fan speed on this side. Now, coming below that, I've got a little bit of added storage in here. Now, in this particular car, it is cracked a little bit. However, it doesn't actually damage the integrity of the thing itself. However, it does prevent you from closing it. Um, but it's still there in case you did want to keep anything in there. Now, if you come below that, You've got your rear diff lock control. If you are doing some hardcore four wheel driving or just we're towing something and want to lock all four wheels, you can do that with that button. Now being the GLS model, as I mentioned before, it does come with a few added benefits. So you do have obviously your leather trim seats with your heated seats as well. So you've got a high and low setting in case you did want to do that on those war, um, cooler days. Now just next to that, you've got a little 12 volt socket if you did want to plug anything to charge. We don't have a cigarette light in there as we don't encourage people to smoke. Now behind that, really nice leather wrap gear shifter on the left here you've got your four-wheel drive select system with your two high four high and your four-wheel drive settings as well now just next to that is your gear shifter for your standard transmission as i mentioned it does come with a reverse camera so you can see the rear bar just below there and you've got your guiding lines as well and you do also have the added advantage of those rear parking sensors now if you bring it down to drive and flick it to the left you can see that you do have a sports shift gearbox so you can flick through the gears manually yourself especially if you are towing or going uphill it does help to have that little bit of added control on the actual car however you can just leave it in the drive and the car is going to do everything for you now coming back Behind that, a little bit of storage, got two cup holders as well as your manual handbrake. Really nicely positioned and quite easy to control as well. Some cars can can also get in the way, so it is really well designed. Now you've got this really nice leather wrap center console. Again, if you lift it up, got a bit of added storage on top there if you didn't want to keep your phone or something in there. And you can also uh, lift this one up and it does have, again, more storage with a little 12 volt socket in there too. Now if you bring this down, can also slide it down if you just want that added rest or support on your arm if you are doing some long drives. Now looking at the back here, you've got all your climate control for the rear, so you can control it from the back here. However, you can also control it from the front in case you do have small kids in the back and can't use these systems. Um, now taking a look in the actual back seats, again, great condition on the leather. There's no major damage or tear or wear marks. As you can see, there's no sun fades or cracking on the leather itself either. So the car has been looked after really, really well by the previous owner. And one thing I do highly recommend is you take advantage of our lifestyle pack. Now what that offers is a lifetime warranty on this beautiful leather and just protect it from um, possible damage as well as making it easy to clean in case you do get spills and things like that as well. Now the lifestyle pack also includes what we call our glass coat and that gives a lifetime warranty on the exterior paint work as well. And we can probably tie that in for you with a nice package to include tint in there. So put that all really nicely in there for you and make it a really nice comfortable payment. But just looking at the interior again, the condition of the car is exceptional and the previous owners done a great job in looking after it. What we're gonna do now is hop outside and close up the video. Thank you for watching the walk around video on this 2017 Mitsubishi Pajero GLS. I hope this gave you a good indication as to the exterior condition of the car and some of the features of the interior. However, if you did have any additional questions or wanted to test drive or actually wanted to secure the car before you came in, the number to dial is 9907055. Now just before I go, this car does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. And what that offers is five years extended protection on 181 electrical and mecha mechanical components of this car. It does also come with unlimited claims up to $3,600 per claim and 10 years platinum roadside assistance nationwide. So great value for money. And if you do plan on keeping this car for a long time, it does help give you the assurance that the car is gonna be looked after 
for your ownership. Now, as I mentioned before, please take advantage of the lifestyle pack. And what that offers is a lifetime warranty on this beautiful sparkly paintwork on the exterior, as well as a lifetime warranty on the leather on the inside. And we can tie that in with some tint for you. Now, these two packages are at an additional cost. However, if you are using our in-house finance, I'd love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario, who showed just how minimal these will actually affect your repayments. And lastly, but most importantly, please check out our Google reviews. With over a thousand reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, it gives you the assurance that you are dealing with the right people and the right kind of business. As I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Mason, and thank you for watching.